வெல்கம் டு நீட் ஃபாஸ்ட் ஃபார்வர்ட் ஒர்க் எனர்ஜி பவர் பார்ட் டூ இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி வில் ஃபைண்ட் ஹவு டு கேல்குலேட் ஒர்க் டன் இன் டூ ஆர் த்ரீ டிஃப்ரெண்ட் சுச்சுவேஷன்ஸ் ஸோ ஹியர் த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் சுச்சுவேஷன் ஒர்க் டன் இன் புல்லிங் த பாப் ஆஃப் எ சிம்பிள் பெண்டுலம் ஆஃப் லென்த் எல் த்ரூ என் ஆங்கிள் தீட்டா ஸோ வாட் வில் டூ வில் கன்சிடர் ஒன் சிம்பிள் பெண்டுலம் so this is the bob say the length of the pendulum is l now this pendulum has to be pulled through an angle theta so this is the new orientation of the bob so this has been pulled in this direction okay now the angle that the pendulum makes with the vertical is theta how to calculate work done how to to calculate work done so we have to calculate the height through which the bob has moved okay so this is that particular height h this h i have to calculate so length of the bob is l length of the pendulum is l so therefore this length is also equal to l okay so if this angle is theta in this right angle triangle this is the adjacent side so this will become l cos theta so this is l cos theta i need h so what is h then h will be equal to l minus l cos theta so l minus l cos theta so what is the work done work done is equal to potential energy change in potential energy m g into h l minus l cos theta i can take that l common so i'll get work done equal to mg l into 1 minus cos theta okay now what if the mass is distributed see here mass is there only in the bob okay say for example we take a uh, bar okay we take a metal bar of some length so in case of a distributed mass say i have considered a uh, metal bar okay so this is the metal bar so mass is distributed throughout this bar length of the bar is l if this is uh, um, pulled through an angle theta an angle theta now what happens now see the center of mass of the bar was at l by 2 already i can treat this distributed mass as a point mass situated at the center of this bar so this is at l by 2 now center of mass has been shifted here now correct so here i'll imagine a rectangle triangle okay so what is this length then so this will be again half of the length of the bar so that is also l by 2 so if i imagine a rectangle triangle so this in this rectangle triangle here okay so this will be this will be l by 2 cos theta l by 2 cos theta okay so uh, what happens what i need shift in center of mass i have to calculate so this is the shift correct no initially center of mass was here now the center of mass is here what is the height height i have to calculate that height equal to this what is this length l by 2 minus this what is this l by 2 cos theta so h will be equal to l by 2 minus l by 2 cos theta so therefore the work done equal to potential energy equal to mg into l by 2 you can take common l by 2 into 1 minus cos theta in the case of distributed mass now uh, let me let us calculate the work done okay in pulling uh, hanging portion of a chain back on the table okay so what we'll do we will consider one chain of mass m okay of mass m 
and length L having uniform mass per unit length. Let 1 by nth of portion is hanging from the top of the table. So I'll, uh, let us see how the situation is. Here there is a table. Okay, table. Okay. So there is a chain. Total length of the chain is L. We have taken. So L by nth of portion is hanging. Okay. So now uh, so this portion here is already on the top of the table. So there is no work required to pull this portion. So work is required to pull this portion only. Okay. So, so how to calculate work done? To calculate work done, directly I can use MGH formula. Work done equal to MGH. Okay. So, so what is H? See here. This is a distributed mass. When there is a distributed mass, if I ask you where is the mass, here also there is mass, here also there is mass, everywhere there is mass. Okay. This portion of the chain is already on is already almost on the top of the table. So you don't have to do work there. Correct? No. So here you have to do work. So this portion of the chain has to go up by a length L by N. But on an average, so this is the center of mass. Correct? No? This is the center of mass. So where is the center of mass of this portion? That is at half of half of L by N. Correct? No? Half of L by N. Or that is equal to L by 2N. L by 2N. Okay, so what is the mass of this hanging portion? Okay, so mass of this uh, hanging portion is equal to right here. This implies W is equal to mass of the hanging portion M by N is the mass of the hanging portion into G into H. So the displacement of the center of mass of this portion is L by 2N or that implies work done will be equal to m g l divided by 2 n square m g l divided by 2 n square so in this small video we have learnt to calculate uh, so work done to, to calculate work done in different cases work done in pulling a bob through an angle theta is given by mgl into 1 minus cos theta if there is a distributed mass okay if there is a distributed mass then that work done will be equal to mgl by 2 into 1 minus cos theta and work done in pulling uh, some portion of the chain back onto the top of the table is given by mgl divided by 2n square